वर्णिवे शरमणि अदर्शन मंदहासुचिराज पूजित सुरनरोतमुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित धर्मनंदनमह विचित श्रीघनश्याम महाराज निज सुप्रीम ऑल माइट योर बिलवर्ड गुनश्याम महाराज पाथ में कटु और लिब्रेशन पूज्य पाथ गुरु जी और फिर ड्यूटीज जय स्वामी नारायण वैन वी आर रियली इन नीड एंड सम वन हु हेल्प्स अस एट दैट टाइम देन वी बिकम एक्सट्रीम रिप्लीज अपॉन दैट पर्सन वाई बिकॉज वी नीड समथिंग लाइक और सम मनी और समथिंग एंड एट दैट टाइम दैट पर्सन हेल्प अस सो we become we become extremely pleased upon that person in the same way in spirituality in our satsang if suppose there is an opportunity to serve bhagwan santo or devotees and if we grasp that opportunity and if we remain success in serve the santos bhagwan and devotees at that time so all become please upon us and because of that service we earn the immense rajipo of bhagwan santo and all the devotees let we see one of such devotee at the time of bhagwan swami narayan who earned the highest rajipo of bhagwan mainly by only one incident khengar ji bhai of khuloria he was very strong devotee of bhagwan swami narayan but before he became a satsangi meaning before he understood who bhagwan swami narayan was then at that time he came in contact he came in contact with the the devotees of bhagwan swami narayan and uh, he did not meet any santo but only the other devotees explain him the greatness of bhagwan swami narayan as well as the rules and regulations of our santos and devotees and by observing the devotees behavior khengar ji bhai he also accepted the refuge in swaminarayan sampraday after becoming a satsangi he many times visited gadda for darshan of maharaj once maharaj was become very sick and that's why he uh, announced no uh, he announced that uh he did not meet any other devotees or santo so who ever come to have maharaj darshan so the karim ji he was the parshad of maharaj he was there on on the at the door of darbar gar and he deny everyone not to go inside the auxiliary for darshan of maharaj because that's the maharaj's command only some only very few santos and very few devotees were allowed to go inside the auxiliary for having darshan of maharaj sometimes maybe even a group of devotees came from very far away then maharaj allowed him to have his darshan inside auxiliary so in that was the situation because uh at the time maharaj was constructing mandirs all the other mandirs were near to finish and only the garuda mandir the last six mandir that was under construction so at the time there was shortage of funding and because of that shortage maharaj did this charitra to make the other duties understood according to the khengar ji bhagat's understanding and maharaj also wanted to show the other devotees the understanding of khengar ji bhagat and for that maharaj became very sick and 
there 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 was no no money for paying the wages to the worker who were busy in constructing the mandir so the construction work was stopped the workers denied to work anymore and that is why maharaj was worried so maharaj laying the whole day in aksarodi so once a group of devotees from gujarat they came there came for darshan of maharaj karim ji bhagat he was a parsad he was keeping watch and he uh, he said you have to stop here first let me go inside the aksarodi first let me ask maharaj if maharaj give permission then and then you can go inside so karim ji bhagat he explained to maharaj maharaj this group of devotees came from gujarat and they desire to meet you so what to say to him then maharaj said uh, no problem let them come inside so the group of devotees they came so maharaj was laying on his bed they all did darshan and they sat for quite some time so maharaj uh, asked them how is going on meaning how is your financial position or how is your business or whatever you are doing job or whatever then the all devotees they said maharaj that's only because of your mercy this is only because of your blessings we are all very happy and we are all very like uh in higher middle class so meaning we have all the like all kinds of happiness in our home we have in even access from the others so maharaj asked them and they just replied this but they did not sense anything why maharaj asked them such thing they asked maharaj maharaj but uh, we have the pain because you are sick then maharaj say it's okay this is a uh, human body so it might sometime uh, it remain ill or sometime remain good in health so that's not the problem so in this way maharaj again he went to sleep and he said okay then now you can go so all the group of devotees the, they left their room after some time when they went then maharaj asked sukan and swami swami no one no one can understand what i want to say so swami also understand maharaj principle or maharaj uh, what maharaj want to say or what maharaj, what maharaj want to do so after some time khengar ji bhagat he came to have maharaj darshan so karim ji again came inside maharaj's room and he asked that maharaj khengar ji bhagat came from kholaria he want to see you then maharaj say okay send him inside then khengar ji bhagat came he prostrated before maharaj after that after doing darshan of maharaj Mar- maharaj was just laying on his bed he is not even getting up so khengar ji bhagat did darshan and he asked while folded hands maharaj how is your health now then maharaj say it's okay bhagat it's this is a human body and it might sometime become ill or sometime remain good it's not the main thing then after this there is silence in a room and after 2 3 minutes maharaj asked him kangar ji bhagat how are things with you then khengar ji bhagat folded his hands he replied maharaj everything is fine then again maharaj didn't speak anything but after a few moments again maharaj asked khengar ji bhai how are things with you then again khengar ji bhagat replied maharaj everything is fine then again maharaj become moodless and after 2 3 minutes maharaj again uh maharaj didn't probe any further and returning uh, and turning to Nir- nirgunanand swami the sadhu who was serving maharaj at the time and so maharaj said i want to visit the bathroom 
So Swami helped Maharaj out of the bed and Maharaj slowly made his way to the bathroom. Then um, when Maharaj left for the bathroom, so at the time in the Aksar Road in the room, there, there were only two persons, Khangarji Bhai and Sukhanand Swami. So Khangarji Bhai asked Sukhanand Swami, Swami, I do not understand why Maharaj asked me twice about how things are with me. If Maharaj wants me to do anything, please let me know. If is there any like personal seva is needed or anything else needed, please tell me. Then Swami said, Bhagat, wait for some time. We will ask to Maharaj himself. Then, when Maharaj came back, Maharaj again laying on his bed, then Sukhanan Swami, he asked with respect to Maharaj, Maharaj, Maharaj drank some water and laid on the bed and then Sukhanan Swami asked, Maharaj, if you require anything, then Khangarji Bhai has offered to bring it. Because Sukhanan Swami really knew about the things, what was going on. So he requested Maharaj, Maharaj Khangarji Bhagat is ready to give whatever you want. Then Maharaj looked ap approvingly at Khangarji Bhai and said, Call Viraktanand Swami. Viraktanand Swami was the Kothari, meaning the head administrator of Gadda Mandir at that time. So he was looking after all the financial, like paying and earn, uh, paying and income and everything. So when Viraktanand Swami was called, so his face also reflected the strain of his workload and worries. In particular, the urgent need to pay the store masons their wages was causing him much concern. So when Maharaj asked him what issues were facing him, Viraktanand Swami said, we need to pay 350 rupees to the workers. But recently, there are in, we are in no position to pay them. So we don't have any money to pay the workers. And the workers deny to do the work for the mandir. So that's why I am in like in worry and in tension. So Khangarji Bhai was moved by the situation. Khangarji Bhai understood the situation that why Maharaj asked me twice. He decided that he would arrange to pay off this debt on that very same day. Then Khangarji Bhagat was thinking who was my relatives here in Garda? There is no one. Yes, there is only one, that is Dada Khachar. So, uh, as a relation of satsang, he went to Dada Khachar. He greeted him with Jai Swami Narayan. Then he asked Dada Khachar, Dada Khachar, I need some money. If you have, then please borrow some money. I want some. Then Kheng, uh, Dada Khachar said, the, uh, Khangarji Bhai, if I had the money, then do you think is there any problem to Maharaj? Or do you think is there any such kind of situation happen here in Gadda that workers deny to work or workers remain without wages? No. Then Khangarji Bhai also understood the problem of Dada Khachar. Then he said, it's okay, Bhagat. I'll do some, I'll do something. Then immediately Khangarji Bhai realized the difficulty, difficult financial situation of Dada Khachar as well as of the Mandir. Then he left Darbar for visiting the Bajar, uh, meaning the village of Gadda, so that he can found from, he can find anyone who can borrow the money to him. So. On the way, he made Manba. Manba was Darbar, and Manba was Kangarjiba's old friend. 
then he made manba so they embrace each other and after asking like formalities how are you how, how is the things going on and in this way uh, because they made after a long period of time so after that uh, um, manba asked kangarji why are you coming today in this village of garuda and in the in the bazaar you might come uh, uh, you you make uh, you might come here for darshan of maharaj but why are you here traveling here or wandering here in gadda uh, in bazaar or we can say in the market then khengar ji bhagat he said manba i have uh, one problem i need some money then manba say it doesn't matter tell me how much you need then khengar ji before giving a amount to manba he started cal- calculating in his mind while walking towards the local office because manba was one of the officer at the time of uh british government ruling in india so he was an officer and he was like um he was collecting revenue from the very remote towns so he had his uh, he had some money collecting uh, c- uh, he had some money uh, and he had put them in local office in his safe box so he went with kangarji bai to the local office of the king of bhavnagar and uh, because he had deposited some money there so he asked now again to kangarji bai how much you need then kangar ji bhai after giving uh, after making calculation in his mind he said please give me 750 rupees so 750 rupees are at the time that too much it's not easy than to, uh, easier like today so on reaching the office manba counted the money put it in a bag and handed it over to kangar ji bhai so kangarji thanked manba and then written to the darbar gad he again made to maharaj he gave all this amount meaning this bag of rupees to maharaj and he pleaded maharaj maharaj please receive this then maharaj also uh called for viraktanand swami then viraktanand swami came there then one parsad also there and so maharaj asked him to count whatever like 350 rupees rakthanand swami needed uh, for the paying to paying wages to the workers so the parsad he separate the 350 350 rupees and the rupees were sent to the office for the wages so now what to do with the other amounts maharaj gave back to the khangar ji bhagat but khangar ji bhagat said no maharaj this is not for me this is all for you another 200 rupees more to pay off some bills and this left 200 rupees again so these were these 200 rupees what kind of bills because at the time in gadda there were a uh, uh, all the like grocery stores and the other stores they give credit to maharaj and who were come for in behalf of maharaj to buy something so without paying at the time the shopkeepers they provide all the, all kinds of goods and groceries or whatever they want so in this way at the time maharaj is maharaj credit uh maharaj had to pay for the his credit 200 rupees and khengar ji bhagat got this information from dada khachar so he gave 200 rupees to pay such bills and again now the last 200 rupees remain so with this the 100 rupees for buying medicine for maharaj and the another 100 rupees for giving a rasway or to feed santos and devotees 
by this understanding of Gangarji Bhagat, Maharaj become extremely pleased upon him. Not only that, but even though Maharaj was very sick, so the next day, Maharaj said to Gangarji Bhagat, Gangarji Bhai, you have to stay for two days more here in Garuda. Gangarji Bhagat said, no problem, Maharaj, I will stay here. Then the next day, Maharaj uh, ordered to Virakthanan Swami to make some very nice or feast or some good food for all Santos and devotees. Then at the time of lunch, all the Santos were seated in Pankti, meaning for taking their lunch. So Maharaj himself, he was so weak, so he could not serve all the Santos, but he observed to serving the Santos. And he himself said near the dining hall, meaning where Santos were taking their food. So Maharaj was sitting there and uh, that was the those days at the time that was a, a tradition to apply sandalwood paste on Maharaj's body. Whoever gave the rasway, that person came to Maharaj and applied the sandalwood paste on his body. So at the time Maharaj was very sick and so sandalwood paste make one very cool. So at the time Muktanan Swami requested Khangarji Bhai, please do not apply this sandalwood paste on Maharaj's body because Maharaj was very sick and if you apply this paste then Maharaj did not feel good. So when Khangarji Bhai came to Maharaj, he only worshipped Maharaj. He only applied only Chandlo and Archa, not he was smearing the sandalwood paste the whole body. So Maharaj asked him, why did you stop only making Archa and Chandlo? Then uh, Khangarji Bhai said, Maharaj, you are not looking good. You have illness and if I apply this, then you are not, you will not good, good feel. That's why I do not apply this. Then Maharaj said, Don't worry about my health. Khangarji Bhai, I am become extremely pleased upon you and from today my illness will not remain anymore. So in this way Maharaj even gave up his illness because for Maharaj and for his Santo Ekantik Bhakto like uh, those muktos who came here from Aksardam, they have no such kind of illness or like they have no thirst, anger, like they only accept, they only grasp those things for different, different reasons. In this way, here Maharaj also accepted or Maharaj also grasped this illness and now after becoming pleased upon this Kangarji Bhagat, Maharaj removed his illness. And he, the next moment, he become like normal. And again, Maharaj said, "Please now apply this sandalwood paste on my body, because now I am good and happy." So in this way, Maharaj shows his rajibo upon this Khangarji Bhai. And Khangarji Bhai had pleased Maharaj by this timely service, and so Maharaj let him apply the sandalwood paste on his body and so Khangarji Bhagat applied uh, sandalwood paste to Maharaj's forehead, chest and arms and feet and after that Maharaj stood up and embraced him. This Khangarji Bhagat's timely service earned him the blessings of Maharaj and the memory of a lifetime. So, and this incident also become very popular in our satsang because of his time to service. So when we have a time to do service and if we perform that service at appropriate time, so that will give us chance to earn Rajipo of Maharaj, Puja Guruji, all the Santos and devotees. So in our life, whenever we receive such kind of opportunity to serve this is here in Khangarji Bhagat's incident. It is a matter of giving some money. But in our life, there, there may be some different situations. Like sometimes Bhagwan or Santo or Puja Guruji or the other devotees, they need our manual service. 
like there is a festival there is a celebration in mandir and at the time some santos and devotees need our help to arrange the chairs or arrange the other decoration or any other things and if we perform that service that will become a timely service for us and that will give us the rajipo of maharaj guruji and santo bhakta on the other hand if the another kind of seva is needed at the time of sibirs or workshops or any other time if santo or devotee is need our help what your kind if we need computer then santo bhakta devotees they need our that kind of help if we want if we are we have a mastery to make a videos or arrange the photos taking a photos or video shooting and at the time we perform that kind of seva that give us uh, more rajipo than our usual sevas so this is the moral of the story and we pray to maharaj we can also do such kind of seva of maharaj guruji and santo in our life so that by performing such kind of timely service we also earn the blessings of maharaj and puja guruji jai swami narayan shri ganeshyam maharaj